Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. This is the last story of the day. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Trisha Harshberger. Let's talk money. In Wall Street news, Goldman Sachs executive director Greg Smith has decided to leave his firm. Who's Greg Smith? Why do you give a crap? Why does this matter? Well, it matters because when he left, he decided to air his very serious grievances with the company in a very public forum. And that public forum turned out to be the New York Times. The executive director, well, ex executive director, wrote an op-ed article entitled, Why I am Leaving Goldman Sachs. In the piece, he says that Goldman Sachs employees refer to their clients as Muppets and then goes on to describe the work environment as toxic and destructive. He wrote how the bank is rewarding those who bring in the most money, not necessarily the employees who are looking out for the best interests of the client. He also says the company's lack of integrity makes him ill. He wrote, Today, if you make enough money for the firm and are not currently an axe murderer, you will be promoted into a position of influence. Wait, wait, what, what if you are an axe murderer? You probably don't care as long as you're making the money. You know what? This whole writing letters to call out people in the workplace that make you angry thing sounds like a good idea. What do you have to be angry about? What? <laughs> How about Lee and Elliot? Lee and Elliot are the worst! How could you hate them? What did they do? They didn't invite me to TGI Fridays for margarita night. That doesn't seem so bad, and you were sick on margarita they night. They could have rescheduled! It still hurts me in the heart box. Maybe writing a letter in a public forum is a little extreme? Okay, fine. How about a scathing company-wide email that I send to everybody? Mm. Okay, fine. How about a strategically placed passive-aggressive sticky note? Perfect. Seriously though, Greg Smith, thank you for speaking your mind. You're finally telling people what's actually going on. We deserve the truth. Agreed. Of course Goldman Sachs went all PR and retorted with, We disagree with the views expressed, which we don't think reflect the way we run our business. In our view, we will only be successful if our clients are successful. For better or worse, this article is creating a lot of buzz on Wall Street and in the Twitter. It's a crushing blow not just to Goldman Sachs, but to Wall Street as well. I mean, the financial sector is still trying to earn any smidgen of public acceptance after they both owned the economy. And now other financial firms are trying to distance themselves from Goldman Sachs. So the chairman of Oppenheimer & Company is attempting to pre-weather the PR storm by sending an email out to all of its employees. The email states, I think it's important that you are aware of the article and understand the differences between what it says about Goldman and what and who we are here at Oppenheimer. Well, I would love to believe that these companies are doing right by the people. I'm an optimist. Popular opinion is that the economy isn't exactly thriving right now. It certainly isn't. But I bet burning that bridge with his former employer felt really good. Word. All right, guys, so if you got to write a letter about what made you angry, what would you put in it? Let us know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Then hit the sanitation or go to sourcefed.com for the five stores of the day or anything that we've covered ever. I'm Joe Beretta. And I'm Trisha Hershberger. Elliot and Lee, I'll see you at Margarita Night. They invited you to Margarita Night?